Hey guys, it's Monday. <laughs> and yep, I'm on making another video <laughs> with Monroe nonetheless. I decided I wanted to pop on because I'm really, 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 really excited to share something with you guys. And for those of you out there who do a lot of role play, I think you'll love this. Um, <laughs> this baby and of course June has inspired me. It really, it really has. Ultimately, like, I'm always trying to think of like new ways to enjoy my dolls, right? And as I've been saying in my journey, you know, bonding with June coming home and enjoying her so much and wanting to get um, things that she can interact with to have in the nursery or wherever I want to stage her or to take pictures of her or make a video of her, you know, any of that stuff. And so I was thinking, because yesterday as I was making the video in my, so I was in my um, my guest bedroom and I was kind of coming in and out of there. Once I was finished, I kind of left Monroe in there for a little bit and I was kind of, you know, going back and forth and I left her laying on the bed. And as I was walking in one of those times, I looked at her and she just, she just looked so animated just laying on the bed because of the fact that she is an awake baby and because she draws her legs up and she looks like she's a wiggling newborn. It's absolutely super cool. So then it dawned on me, <laughs> I don't know why these things happen so late in the game for me, but sometimes, you know, I'm just late to the party. I'm just slow to get there, but eventually I, I do arrive. Um, but ultimately, I've decided that I really need to have one of those, not a play mat, but those little baby gym, like arches that go over a play mat that things, the toys hang down from. And I, and I decided I wanted to get a nice wooden one that would suit my nursery, of course, the theme of my nursery. And then I can actually, I can utilize it two ways. I can utilize it for June who is an older baby who would be sitting up playing with it. And then I can also use it for Monroe, who is an awake baby, a newborn, that would be pretty, it'd be pretty realistic to have her laying underneath it, focused on the toys above her. So it would give the illusion that she is, you know, a new baby focused on something, but also looking like she's wiggling about because the wonderful thing about Monroe is that she does give the illusion of wiggling because of the way she draws her legs up. So I'm so excited, you guys. I found a really beautiful one um, and hopefully it'll be here this week. I will share it, but I'll also be able to take some really fun pictures with both Monroe and June. Ah, oh, I can't even. I'm so excited about this. Like I literally discover new ways in which I'm enjoying this hobby. Like every day, something new kind of pops up and I'm like, aha, I can do this. And I'm loving it. I'm thoroughly loving it. I just had to come on and share this with you guys because I thought you would appreciate it because I love to bring you along my hobby journey and the moments of, oh, I've got a great idea. At least I think it's a great idea. I think those out there that do a lot of role play and even those that just enjoy watching it will, will think that this is kind of cool. It'll be fun to to dabble in this so to speak so i'm really excited wanted to share it and then of course i changed monroe i wanted to put her in i mean it's october and i figured even though i don't ever dress my babies for halloween per se i thought like this is kind of within that theme she's wearing it like this beautiful little knitted hat i believe it's a vintage gap <laughs> i call it vintage because i've had it for like probably well over 10 years. Like it's one of those early, early purchases I've never gotten rid of because I think it's cute on a lot of babies. And I love the gray with the mustard color. And this is a Spearmint Love um, organic sleeper with the little ruffle down the front of it. Uh, it's beautiful. It's I have a couple of these, uh, one in this color and then one in a rusty kind of color. And I think they're just perfect to give that hint of fall. So I feel like she's kind of with the season. However, it's lightweight because it's super warm here. It's gonna be hot, super hot this week here. It already is, like it's sunny and it's like 75 degrees out. 
I'll take it. <laughs> but she still looks like she's, you know, dressed for October, potentially dressed for the spirit of Halloween, if, if you will. I don't know, but I think she looks absolutely adorable. So I figured this is a great time to quickly pop on and share this with you guys. And yeah, I'm really excited. And as I find these, you know, ideas of how to enjoy specifically June, but also enjoy Monroe as well, I want to bring you along because I'm just, I'm having so much fun, you guys. And I just, oh, the amount of joy and happiness that this hobby is bringing to me, I <laughs> just, it's like no other. It's like no other. I never dreamt this, this many years into collecting that I would still be feeling this way. And I am so here for it, you guys. I'm so here for it. And hopefully you guys enjoy me bringing you along. So there you go. That's my news on this Monday. I hope you all are having a great start to your week. And Monroe and I will see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.